Dockside here in Lorient this morning, and you could cut the tension with a knife as the skippers made their way down to the boats ahead of today's Bretagne import race. The first of three final point scoring opportunities, which will determine the overall winner of the Volvo Ocean Race. The crowds were out in force to cheer on local favourites Group Arma, the French overall race leaders. However, this was going to be no walk in the park for Frank Camas, with Puma, Camper and Telefonica all gunning for the Frenchmen and all in the hunt for points to keep their own overall victory hopes alive. As usual, a short inshore course around the boys, upwind, downwind with a short reach. The scene set then for 60 minutes of fleet racing at its most exciting. As the boats lined up on the start line, it was Camper who got the jump on the fleet, ahead of Sanya and Group Armour. Heading upwind to the first mark, the fleet split, with Group Armour heading out to the right with Sanya. Camper, Puma and Telefonica out to the left. But it wasn't until the two groups converged on the first mark that we would know who had the advantage. And it was close. Camper rounded the mark in first place just ahead of Group Armour, with Puma in third. Then Sanya in fourth ahead of Telefonica, with Abu Dhabi in sixth place. Then the fleet were heading downwind to the second mark with kites flying. Camper still led, but Group Armour were pushing, spilling dirty air onto Chris Nicholson's boat and forcing him to jibe away into clean air. Behind the tussle for second place was hotting up. With Group Armour's attention on Camper, Puma snuck up on the French boat and pulled off a great jibe to relegate Group Armour to third place. And also making a move, Telefonica, in clear air were making gains to windward on the top three. But no sign of Camper cracking under the pressure as they executed a perfect spinnaker drop as they came up to the mark. But not so for Puma. Having fought so hard to take second, they handed their advantage straight back to the French team with a costly mistake. At mark three, Camper still led. Group Armour second. Puma third. Behind the second half of the fleet, Abu Dhabi now ahead of Telefonica in fourth. Telefonica then fifth, and Sanya in sixth. Back out in front, Camper were extending their lead as they rounded Mark IV and headed back upwind once again in perfect sailing conditions. At the fifth mark, Camper rounded first with Group Palmer in second, still holding off the advances of Puma, who were desperately trying to make up for their earlier mistake. Some distance behind, Abu Dhabi had sailed a good upwind leg to stay ahead of Telefonica, who were once again looking disappointing in shore. Downwind once again, second place Frank Camas had a trail of ardent support boats in his wake to encourage him on as he chased Camper to the bottom mark. And it seemed to work. A perfectly timed jibe saw them steam into the sixth mark ahead of Camper to steal the lead for the first time in the race. Camper, who had sailed faultlessly, suddenly found themselves in second ahead of Puma in third. And that's how they finished. A French victory in home water for the delighted Group Armour crew six vital points and another step closer to overall victory in the Volvo Ocean Race. Camper second, still in shock at how they lost the race. And Puma in third, claiming four precious points to just about keep their overall race hopes alive. Telefonica finished ahead of Abu Dhabi to take fourth. Abu Dhabi then fifth and bringing up the rear, Sanya in sixth place. An extraordinary race and more to come tomorrow with a leg nine start the final leg of this epic race. Join us again for more live coverage here on volvooceanrace.com.